In this video, we will see the easiest way to debug a Node.js application. So if we want to debug any Node.js application, what do we do? We normally add a console.log. Like this. And then we check the log value in the console to identify the issue. But there is an easy way. Instead of adding a lot of console.log statements for debugging, we can add debugger in the Node.js code. Let's say I want to debug registration code. So while user is registering, there is some issue in the backend code which I need to find out. So what you can do, you can add a debugger statement in that registration code, and instead of running node index.js file. So how do we run the application? We execute the node index.js command. Instead of that, we need to execute node inspect index.js command. So just add the inspect keyword in between and execute this command. You can see, debugger is attached. Now the debugger is started, you need to open the Chrome browser and type chrome colon double forward slash inspect in the URL. Now you can see under the remote target, you get a new entry displayed. The entry will not be displayed if you have not started the debugger. So as I have stopped the debugger, so let me attach debugger again. Now you can see it's displayed again. If you don't see anything here, you can click on configure button and add these two entries, but 99% of the time you don't need to add it manually. Now click on the inspect link and you will be able to see the debugger added. This is the same index.js code that we have in the application. As you can see here, but I don't wanna debug from the first line, so I will click on the blue continue button. Instead, I wanna debug the registration code. So for that, you need to register a new user, so this code will be triggered. So by keeping this open, let me go back to the registration page and I will register a new user. If I click create new account button, you can see that the debugger is stopped at the registration code. So now, I can see each of the variable value directly in the browser without having to add console.log statements, which is a lot faster. So I can continue debugging each line and also see each variable value easily. Sometimes the variable value is too large, so you cannot see it properly like this user variable. So you can just open the console tab, make sure the debugger is still going on. And now I can console log all the variables until the current debugging point. Let's say I want to find out the value of email or password, then in the console you can just type the name of the variable. Similarly, we can check the user variable also. So this way, you can debug any of the Node.js code by adding a debugger statement. So first you need to add debugger statement in the code that you want to debug and then run the node inspect command. Then navigate to this Chrome inspect page to debug the code line by line. And if you don't want to manually type this command all the time, you can add a debug script in package.json file. Node inspect index.js. Now to execute this script, we can just run npm run debug command. You can see, debugger is attached. So now you can access this Chrome inspect page and inspect the code and debug it line by line. So this is the easiest way to debug Node.js code. Also, you don't have to register the user from the application only to debug the registration code. You can fire the registration API from Postman also, you just need to do something, which will call the registration handler function where we added the debugger statement. So that's it about this video. If you want to learn how to build this beautiful full stack link sharing app using Mernstack, then check out the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, so you will not miss future important video notifications.